welcome to Global Tech Code channel. Today we are going to say about uh, Bitbucket. How to use Bitbucket. Okay. Before, before going to this topic, if you are a new user, please subscribe this channel and don't forget to click bell icon. What are the topics we are going to see in this video? First one, what is Bitbucket? How to create repository in Bitbucket? And how to clone repository in local and also commit and push a file to Bitbucket? First, we are going to see what is Bitbucket. Bitbucket, in before know about Bitbucket, you must know about JIT. JIT is a version control system. Version control system means if you are a software developer, you are doing a project, so you are, you need to maintain a code in centralized place. The, you have to track your code based on a time, changes, everything. That process is called that process is called version control system. Okay, so Bitbucket is a uh, JIT based tool. JIT have also a JIT based tool. Both are a uh, little different based on a usage uh, or like project. If you need to work in an open source project, that time you can use JIT Hub. If you need to use a enterprise and personal uh, private projects, you have to use Bitbucket. Bitbucket is a DevOps tool and um, mainly used designed for private projects. It's more flexible and it is offered by Atlassian company. Okay, uh, let's start to see how to create a repository using Bitbucket. How to create a repository. If you have an account in Bitbucket, you can open that and use that. If you don't have an account, you can create using this Bitbucket login. And I'm I'm already have an account, so I have opened my page. Uh, now I'm going to create a project using this option. Here, right side. We see create project button. Here you can give what are the names you need to give create for project. So I'm giving my channel name global tech core key. The key is also you can give what you need. And description is optional. You can give whatever you want. This project is created as a private one, so this this is checked this box is checked and you can give any other any images you can upload it here so i'm clicking create project button now my project is created under this project i'm going to create my repository using this option here i can give my name for my repository so i give like a tech code repo and uh, access level it's uh, we are not able to change because i have created this is as a private project so it's automatically taken as a private repository then if option is like include a readme file you have you need if you need you can or this add this you can give us a yes or no default branch name you can mention what are the branch name you need so I'm giving master uh, and also it's asking do you need JDK node file okay if you need you can give the option like yes or otherwise you can give no in advanced setting there is an option like description and uh, forking and language description what are the things you have to mention in description you can give and forking forking means clone the clone what are the access I mean what are the access uh, what are the things you have to clone i mean you are uh, giving the permission to clone means allow folks you are 
only giving the private clone access means you can use second option no cloning option means you can use third option any languages coding languages what are the language you are going to use you can select that languages so i just i am selecting html css now clicking create repository button now my repository is created tech code repo okay um, if you are if you are work with team me teams means so uh, manager or team leader having access in master branch in our team members only work in sub branches so now i am going to create a sub branch from master one so there is an option is branches there you can see create branch button there i am creating a sub branch from master branch now my sub branch one is created so i am going to work in this sub branch one branch now i am going to get the url for this repo just open that repo in right side you can see clone option there is https url just copy that url just open your uh, git base or command prompt and paste it paste that url after the command git clone my repo is cloning in local okay it took some time now my repo is get cloned in local okay let's move to that repo first folder it's in master branch so i'm going to check out its sub branch now it's uh, now it's uh, move to sub branch one okay uh, now i'm going to add one file in this project in local i am opening that folder that code repo it's already having jignore and readme file so i have already prepared one html file i am going to add this in that repo just i have mentioned few codes in a uh, few uh, labels in that file now we are going to add this file in this repo let's check the changes using the common g status here it's mentioning like untracked files that means this file is not available in the repo so you have to add in git staging so using the command git add dot this means it will add all the changes you have done in this uh, branch now you can check the status again so now it's added um so now we can comment using the comment j comment minus cm means it denotes the messages initial comment sample file i give this message now um have committed this changes i'm going to push my changes to the trap using the comment git push it will take some time meanwhile if you are a new user i mean uh, if you are uh, logging a first time in git base that time um, during the git push you will get a error like configuration error uh that time you have to set username and username using this comments
you can view those uh, username and uh, email using this JIT config hyphen get username mail. And also, what are the things available in config files? Uh, you can use JIT config hyphen hyphen list command. Now, our uh, changes are post to Bitbucket repo. Okay, let's see in Bitbucket. Now my changes are available, need to be available in sub branch. So now uh, my file is available in sub branch one. So uh, I'm going to move this change to master branch. Then what I need to do, you can create a pull request using this option. Create pull request, click that button and from sub branch one commit move to master branch. So you can give any title and description, some attachments, everything. Here in below it will show what are the changes you have done in that branch, in that commit, what are the commits you have done in uh, that branch. This is the option if you need, you have to uh, delete that branch after it gets merged. Okay, uh, my branch is needed, so I'm not check this option. So I'm clicking create pull request option now. Now, um, merge request is that request is processing. That request is created. What are the changes I have done? What's the commit name? Everything it's uh, defined here, and um, I have added this file, right? So what are the changes I have done? Everything is displaying here. So I'm going to merge this one. After that, it will uh, this changes will apply in master branch. So now it's merged. We can see in master branch that sample file is available or not. So now uh, sample file is available in master branch also. So likewise, like this, you can move your code from sub branch to master branch. Okay, uh, if you need to delete this repository, um, that is also possible using the option repository setting. There is uh, right, there is an option like delete repository. And also if you need to delete this uh, project, you can use uh, project setting option for this for this project gets delete. Okay, here it's a delete project button is available. This is the additional one. Yeah. Uh, in this video, we have uh, we have done the topic like uh, JIT clone, JIT commit, uh, JIT push and uh, what is Bitbucket everything. We have covered all those topics. Uh, I hope this video will be useful for you and uh, this video also available in Tamil language. I have I given that link in description. Please refer. Okay. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and click bell icon. Thank you.